I hit recorded job, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now, these cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte like I play for Hornets. When I'm performing, never boring, now you can't afford it. Champagne Perrier, finished friends on my face. Looking like I'm from the D, D's no Cartier. Pockets deep, 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 bro. I can make it in my seat, bro. Do you and do me, bro. everyone and welcome to the MHG lunchtime 5k at 8 kilometers per hour remember to stop the watch guys I've started the watch hang on a minute treadmill error what's that all about cold weather Treadmill has been switched back on. Nothing is happening. That is not good, is it? Everyone's off. I'm stuck on the start line. Here we go. Will this work? Here we go. There it goes. Technical error on the start line. Let's catch up with the gang. <laughs> it's the cold weather. I'm sure it is. That is the second technical issue of this run. The first one was even stranger. Where's Beth? There's Beth. Look, let's get up there with Beth. Back down to eight. Good morning and welcome. technical issue for me at the start line. All good now. I'm sure it's this cold weather. Yeah, so the first problem I had after the run last night my watch decided to add an old heart rate monitor to its accessories and I accidentally hit yes instead of no. So it added it. When I came on this morning, the treadmill wouldn't connect to the Apple TV. And I'll switch the treadmill on and off. Nothing. I'll switch the Apple TV on and off. Nothing. I thought, well, what's changed? I thought, well, the heart rate monitor got added to my watch last night. Let's take it back off again. I took it off the watch as soon as I deleted the heart rate monitor from the accessories and the watch. Apple TV saw the treadmill. What is that all about? Completely unrelated, but it works now. And then obviously at the start line, we have the error code, which I don't know what that was about, but I gave the uh, emergency stop magnet a wiggle, turned it back on and all was good. <laughs> Beth says her technical issue this morning is her legs after last night's bike race. Hopefully, Beth, this run will help loosen up those legs, shake out all that stiffness. Hello, Christoph. 
Voice of text says, hello, Christopher. And I've remembered to start the watch today. So we'll get to the end of the run. Hopefully remember to switch it off and calibrate it to the distance identified on the treadmill. And hopefully eventually we'll get there. So here we are, there's a few of us in the run today, quite a few have run off, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the beacon group, slowly coming together. It is 3.2 degrees Celsius here in the Corner Swift garage this, this afternoon now. I've just had the fan heater on for a couple of minutes just to blow away the iciness in here. It is that day of the week again. It is Wednesday, all day. And that can only mean one thing. It's Workout Wednesday day. Hooray! I'm saying at the moment, it looks like we will be going for a Swift Run Channel live stream on the Workout Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. Keep your eye on the Swift Companion app see which one we're signed up for. At the moment I'm signed up for the 430 run. Which means Stephen's stream should start at quarter past four. But look out for the notifications on the Swift Run channel of when we'll be going live. Not looking forward to workout Wednesday. Never do. But always glad that I finish it at the end. here in Cornwall today. Looking cold for the next few days also. I think that's ooh, the treadmill not connecting to the Apple TV randomly was to do with the watch connecting to a heart rate monitor. How that had an effect on it, I do not know. But it's just funny how the treadmill disconnected from the Apple TV when the watch connected to the heart rate monitor. And then when I disconnected the heart rate monitor from the watch, the treadmill reconnected to the Apple TV. How weird is that? But the error code, I reckon was the cold because last winter I had the same thing. Beth, is, Beth hates the cold. Six degrees and rain for Christoph. What is that? Does that say minus 34? Jenny my glasses again. I can't see. I need my glasses. One minute. Cassie Smith says it is minus 34. Now that is cold, isn't it? That's twice as cold as my freezer. I also have noticed when it's cold in here, all the batteries on my devices run down quicker. My old iPhone was fully charged now, it's now down to 25%. What's going on there? Beth 
Beth says, yikes, I'd be a human popsicle. I think that's in response to the minus 34. My hands feel like human popsicle hands in four degrees. That alone minus 34. Here we go, the group's forming. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven blue and reds running with a beacon today. As you see, I've still got my hoodie on and I still feel cold and my fingers feel numb. I could put the fan heater back on, but that just gets ridiculous then. <sighs> Casey says, the thing is my phone is now upside down because I've had to plug the charger in. Casey now says, weather at minus 10. And that and Casey comes from Canada. So they have obviously got the winter has arrived. Not sure if the snow has yet. I know when someone said the other day it hadn't quite arrived in Canada, but it might be where Casey is. That's one kilometre run for the Beacon Group. Four to go. Jamie's got 12% at 12%. <laughs> Jamie's got 12% elevation. No, Jamie's got 12 degrees Celsius where he is. Christoph is warming up after the first kilometer. Yes, I feel all right now, it's just my fingers. <laughs> I can't speak, my mouth's freezing over. It's actually, it's cold in the garage, as it is in my conservatory at the moment, because we have the tumble dryer in the conservatory when we're using it, if we've got all the doors and windows closed, it steams up and condensates in there. So we have to keep all the windows and doors open in the conservatory to stop it from steaming up. Heart rate's looking good. 109. I did start the watch, didn't I? Yes, I did start the watch. Well done. Watch distance currently says... 122 or 1.22 on the treadmill says 1.45 so the watch is running slightly slower it's probably because i keep looking at the watch stop swinging my arm however even though it's cold here it's a really nice sunny day out there After this, I'll have to do a quick pug pod around the estate. Give the pug his daily walk and his daily nail filing. He's currently on pug or basket to 2K training program. We're currently walking one kilometer a day. Hopefully after a few weeks, he can walk two kilometers. But at the moment, after one kilometer, he decides to sit down and not walk anymore and I have to carry him to the finish line. I think it's just because it's cold, because he never used to be like this. Oh yes, Christoph, how's the new treadmill going? have a smart treadmill now don't you do is it le much less hassle now do you enjoy jumping off and just powering up and going I can also see from your pace it's nice and steady now it doesn't fluctuate anymore because you've got a nice smart treadmill a flow fitness
strange though, isn't it, how we've both got our treadmills set to 80 kilometers per hour, and yours is 7.30 minute kilometers, and mine is 7.29 minute kilometers. Drop some ride ons a minute. Go to the map and we hit the arrow. There we go. Five at a time. So if you go to map now and you hit the arrow, which is your location in the middle of your screen, you can drop group ride ons to the people around you. Or the other way I do it, if there's like a lot of runners running with you who you know, you can close the app, open the app. And before it goes to your active run, hit the ride on icon at the top and you can drop them all. Or drop every drop a ride on to everyone in your contacts list who are running at that at, 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 at that time. Oh, I'm stuttering now, I'm so cold in here. Right, here we go. Flow Fitness 21i. Are you happy with it, Crystal? That is the main thing. If you're happy with the, if you're happy with the treadmill and it's reliable, that's all that matters. Hello, Tina. Tina's in the live stream. Yeah. Tina's in the live stream. She says hello, Clive. Um, just checking in, but sound is off. I'm in a calf. Wave if you read this. Hello, Tina. Tina says hello. She's currently in the cafe having some cake and coffee. I know you're probably not drinking coffee, Tina. You're probably having a cup of tea on you. <clears throat> I'm sure Tina will pop up now and say, I'm not drinking coffee and eating cake. I'm having a cup of tea and a bowl of porridge. But she doesn't know what I'm saying because I don't think it's on screen captions on YouTube. Or is there? Just turn your volume down. Hello? No, no on screen captions on YouTube. So she doesn't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Jamie says to Christoph, congrats on the smart trainer. It's definitely easy. Christoph says, thanks. Yes, for sure. No hassle. It isn't, is it? You just jump on and go. Christoph says, hello, Tina. Enjoy. And then Christoph has announced that the two kilometers mark in the run. <laughs> there we go. Tina has just said she's in the cafe having some green tea and some cheese on toast. Very nice, Tina. Do you put your little finger out when you're drinking your tea like that? Peter says, I turn. I don't know what that means, Peter. Are you trying to do donuts? Mm -hmm. 
Christoph is laughing at Peter. Here we come. Just passing a broken down truck and a couple of people having a chat about the dog in the back of the lorry. Is it, um, is it Jarvis the Bear Day today? It is, isn't it? The trees look familiar. So at about three kilometers, just over three kilometers, we will see Jarvis Bear on the right, sliding up and down a tree. Why are we on the wrong side of the road? Do we usually run on the left? I haven't took a photo yet, actually. Better do that the next time we pass the camera. So we go to Maps on the companion app, scroll to the end, and then we can hit the camera icon when we're in shot. Here we come. Oh, there we go. There's me photograph for the me Twitter and Instagram pages. Please follow me if you follow any of those social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. That's Clive Bennymore, or the Cornish Swift Runner. Please like and subscribe the Swifter Run channel. Give this, stream, um, give this stream a thumbs up and hit that notification bell for when we go live. We really appreciate all your support that you give the channel. Lee Tree is in the live stream. Lee Tree is saying hello to Tina. Lee has just joined us in the run as well. Looks like Swift actually placed Lee with the group today instead of a mile behind like it usually does. Good to see you Lee. Thanks for joining the run. Thanks for joining the stream. <laughs> Christoph thinks I'm drunk. Is that my avatar, Christoph? Is he running all over the place? Are we on the wrong side of the road? This isn't Jarvis's room, is it? This is not, this is a different place. Welcome, Lee Tree. Tina's off home now. She'll be back later. Thanks for popping in, Tina. See you later, Tina, at Workout Wednesday. I'm sure Tina will be at Workout Wednesday. She's a regular to that, that really nice interval session. 4.30 p.m., Tina the moment and then tomorrow Thursday Stephen Cousins will be back with film my run 500 at 11 35 a.m. unfortunately I won't be there tomorrow because it's my week where I work out on site on Tuesday and Thursday so please feel free to join in with the run you can find it in the Swift companion app or and or tune in to the Swift Run channel to watch everyone on the run while you sit and relax on the sofa. <laughs> I'll be in the car. I always try to listen to the stream as I'm driving around, but sometimes I have to pause it between visits, so I'm always behind. We are approaching three kilometers, heart rate still 111. Everything's looking good. 
Looking good, everyone? On this cold, sunny morning in Cornwall. The birds are singing. The birds are singing and the sun is shining. My fingers are freezing. What have you got planned for today then? Anyone out there listening? Quick shower for me. Then we've got a dog walk, which I call a pug plod, around the block. Then it's back to work for the afternoon. Then it's join the Workout Wednesday team at half past four. The only good thing about a Wednesday when we run Workout Wednesday at 4.30 is by six o'clock, we're all finished. And we have a nice quiet evening to chill out and watch the football which the wife probably won't let me watch the football on the big telly. So I'll go in the office with my iPad. I don't even know what match is on tonight. All us English lot are now thinking about Saturday night when we play France in the quarterfinals. It's going to be a nervous one. That's correct, Lee. Yes, soccer. The World Cup is currently a big thing over here in Europe and the UK. We are still there, we are still in. Probably going to be our final game on Saturday night, but fingers crossed. Apart from if you ask my wife, she doesn't even know it's going on. All she knows is this football programme keeps disrupting the television programmes on the telly. My wife runs a local drama group and on the day of the final she's actually doing a show. And someone said to her I hope England don't get through to the final because you won't have any people watching your show. And she had no idea. She says, I don't care about the football. I'm still going to put the show on. England won't get that far. (laughs) And there they are, the pumpkin men. Still there trying to dislodge the pumpkin. Just giving us a wave look. Well done, mate. Good luck moving that monster. He's giving us a round of applause. Thank you. Still late joiners popping up around the main group here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in the main group now, in the beacon group. Let's give a quick ride on to the new the late joiners. There we go. Right on. Oh, there's another one. Nine. Don't forget, later this month, we are putting on an MHG, an MHG marathon at this pace, eight kilometers per hour. For those of you who would like to join us for as much or as little of the run as you like, if you would like to run it a bit faster or you'd like to walk run it, you're all welcome. But we're gonna join in Watopia on December, December the 17th at 12 p.m. And the route we will be doing is called the Big Loop. So you can either join us by signing in at about quarter to 12, 10 to 12, 
And if you've got me as your friend in the Swift Companion app, you can click on Run with Clive Finneymore and you will appear behind me. Or you can go into Roots and select the big loop in Watopia and we'll all be popping up in the same place at the start of that loop. <clears throat> so please feel free to join us to run as much or as little as you like. And if you haven't already unlocked that marathon badge, it'd be a good opportunity to do so with all the rest of us. I think it's photo time again. That's much better. Look at that. Look. Nice little group of blues and reds there by the lake in the middle of the night. Smile. Cheese. Cheers, Peter. If you don't already know, we live stream these events on YouTube. It will be good to see you in the chat. There's the little advertising bit. <laughs> Has to be done, doesn't it? Has to be done. Some people out there might not know there is a Swift Run channel or that anyone does live stream. Here we go, we're approaching four kilometers in just under 200 meters time. I don't know if anyone was watching the live stream tonight, but I was supposed to go out last night with the in life, real, well, in the in real life run club at 7 p.m. last night. However, I did run the ZLDR, no one left behind run, a couple hours before that. But I did have good intentions to go out with the run club last night. However, when I finished the run, I went in. The wife had finished putting the Christmas decorations up. It was all nice and warm. Football was on the telly. There was a stew ready with dumplings in a bowl steaming away. I decided to stay in. <laughs> Tina Beard knew I wasn't going to go out and she wished she put a bet on it. However, I very nearly did. I got ready. I was ready to go. But no, nah, I, couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to go back out in the dark and the cold when I was quite comfortable at home. However, that challenge is up again tomorrow night when Run Club takes place on a Thursday as well. So tomorrow night, I'll make more of an effort to join the outdoor runners. Let's see what happens. Why do you want to go outside if it's cold, wet and windy when you have a treadmill and swift? It doesn't make sense, does it? That's why we get the treadmill to hide from the outdoor elements. So tomorrow night, I will probably run the ZLDR. Is it, is it ZLDR? No one gets left behind again tomorrow? Let's have a look. Events. Tomorrow? Tomorrow, let's look at around five o'clock. So I've got to do it at least a couple of hours before I go out. There we go, yes. Tomorrow night at 5 p.m. UK time, there is another edition, ZLDR, no one left behind. I'm currently signed up for that, so hopefully I will run that for an hour and then join my outdoor running team.
<laughs> Christoph is Christoph has just said four kilometers done, only one to go. Come on! That's it, Christoph, four in the bag, one to go. Mike Wright's laughing, I don't know if he's laughing at me. Talking about whether I can bring myself to go outside, or is he laughing at Christoph? I will try harder tomorrow night, I promise. It's just after you've run 10k, you don't fancy it, do you? Sometime on the weekend, I've got to get outside. Do some hills. Do some running up and down hills, because we all know running downhill is just as important as part of your training as running uphill. I really need to get out there. The big race is fast approaching at the end of January. Only about another six weeks of training left to go, if that. <clears throat> Running in my matching red shorts today, as you can see in the stream. Red shorts, blue top, blue hat, just like the avatar. And tonight and workout Wednesday I'll be running in my orange ladies extra large swift top and my Vaga Bluebird running cap to match my avatars evening rig we're all a bit crazy us Swifties, Swifters aren't we look at me trying to match my avatar Someone said to me actually once in my in real life run club, we, were, we went for a long run out somewhere and they said to me, oh, did you know you run just like your avatar from that game, Swift? And I was wearing my ladies extra large swift top, my blue cap. There we go. Four and a half kilometers run, 500 meters left to go. Three and a half minutes left to run. Well, that's warmed me up nicely. Before this, I felt a bit cold. You know, when you feel cold to the bone, one of those days, but I've warmed up nicely now. Shaking them legs out, ready for workout Wednesday in a few hours time. Going down, find some lunch. Something left over from yesterday. As long as it's not the pet's food, it's left over. Thank you, Anna, for the ride on. Just a track distance left to run. Leone runs indoors. Me, I don't blame you. I tell you what, if it wasn't for my run club, which I joined before the days of treadmills, and I didn't sign up for outdoor events, I would also only run indoors. It is nice in here, isn't it? You don't get run over. There's no dogs chasing you down the track. You don't get freezing cold ears and then they drop off. So you can listen to your music, watch your telly. That's random, that isn't it? There's a cat sat at a bus stop. Where on earth does a cat think it's going?
There's some, there's some candy at the bus stop, according to Christoph. Maybe that's what the cat is there for. Catnip. Uh, Lee says, had too much candy last night. Approaching one minute left to run, so let's say the farewells. Thank you all for joining today. Good to see you. Hopefully see you again on Friday. Work out Wednesday for me in a couple of hours. Until next time, stay safe and take care. Cheers. Bye bye. There we go, 60 meters left to run. Thank you all for joining in the live stream today, for popping in and saying hi. Well done to all the runners in the event. Thank you for all your comments in game. It does make it pass. It makes the experience much more better, doesn't it, Swift? Imagine running on a treadmill just looking at a wall. No wonder they call it the treadmill. But this is this is awesome. Thank you, everyone. There it is. Five kilometers. Another 5k in the bag. Hour down, a couple of hours until workout Wednesday time. Hopefully see you all again on Friday back here. Workout Wednesday later on. Take care, stay safe everyone. Until next time. From me and Scotty, cheers, bye bye. See you later, bye. See you next time.